What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, another day, another review, we are back with the Sentinel series, moving forward, we got the 5th figure from the series, which is uh, not in particular order, we have Black Panther today, also known as, also known as King T'Challa, uh, this one is absolutely without a question, it's the comics version, it's got the, uh, the retro, the OG look, uh, if you guys have seen the the modern uh, Avengers it's definitely uh, not close to this figure here so for this figure it comes with the right arm for Sentinel as you guys can see and again it comes with the tentacles that uh, attach to the body in uh, Sentinel hands. now for this uh, packaging uh, it might have not been very well taken care of as you guys can see uh, the packaging has a lot of yellowing going on almost the whole thing so which is one good thing about being an open collector so it, 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 will, it will not really matter on the back everything is still the same for all those new viewers or new collectors you do need six from this figure uh, all detailed in the back you get this nice little read about the the Marvel hero Black Panther and then uh, as always with the Toy Biz era it comes with a 32 page comic book as of November 2020 uh, the average price for this figure is $66 and the lowest uh, it has been purchased this month or the past two months is sitting at around $50 alright so inside the packaging uh, the 32 page comic you get the titled The Avengers uh, side message here revealed at last the origin of T'Challa so it is safe to assume that this comics reveals the Black Panther also known as King T'Challa on the back nothing changes you get the the poster of Sentinel series and the Marvel heroes or villains that comes with the series Alright, moving one step closer to building Sentinel from the series. Again, you get the right hand with the Black Panther figure along with the tent tentacles that attaches to his arm and his body. Uh, all around, as you guys can see, there was not a slack, the painting, the detail, the shading. The, it's just freaking amazing. It's really impressive. Uh, get you guys an angle of that and then we will move on to the figure all right and now moving on to the figure we get this very very impressive black panther the retro og comic version it's he comes in black and gold which has always been a nice combo it goes two and two together I would say it's more of a gold than yellow. So without further ado, let's get some close ins. Let's get some close in to the figure. So you guys can see the head there, the body, some nice details, definitions there, the size, and you get this awesome cape with him, which is I think better than uh, a lot of the recent figures it's actually loose which is uh, quite useful in, uh, in regards to the articulation for the figure and movement and posing so there goes that alright and now let's move on to the articulation starting with the head he goes he's able to look down just a tad bit with the cape and then somehow it stops right there so he can still somehow be angled looking up and then move into the right is that much moving to the left about that much so not really much uh, head movement but I think with this figure you can still get a lot of dope shots 
and good posing and, and as far as looking in different angles. Moving on to the hands and the, the arms and shoulders, you can get that nice full 360. Uh, 360 even with the cape because like I said it is nice and loose same thing for the other side of it all right you get both arms both bicep swivel as you guys can see this figure is pretty tight but you do have that let me see if he has double jointed elbows that is good enough all right and then same thing for the other hand. I think the one let down with this, the only thing let down in this figure is it doesn't come with the, you get the forearm swivel. Same thing for the other side. You guys hear that click, it's fresh. So like I was saying, the one thing that's let down is that maybe, or actually no, I take it back because you get that forearm swivel and it's it goes in hand in hand with the goes hand in hand with the the wrist so you could post the arms in many ways goes up that much goes down that much same thing for the other side it goes up just a little bit that much and goes down a lot further than it is goes up one nice thing about him is that you get an independent or individual finger articulation with his claws so you got the pinky there wedding ring the middle finger and it seems to be attached at the moment there you go and then the index finger same thing goes for the other hand all right ab crunch is pretty good as you guys can see here you get the ab crunch goes down that far and goes down this much again toy this did not slack off so you guys can see they pinned all the way through so when he's leaning back that much and have that arch it still uh, matches the the pain of the whole body and not completely left blanked the hips and waist you're about that much he gets that nice gold belt legs goes that far he can do a split and then goes up that much and kicks back this one is actually capable of kicking back more than the other figures in this series even though it's a little bit angled same thing for the other side you can kick that much same thing for the back more a lot more easily than the other figures he does get some good definition there in size. Black, Pan Black Panther does his leg days. And then for the knees, you get that nice double jointed knees. As you guys can see, that is perfect. All right. And then for his caps, you get that nice cab swivel. For his ankles, he goes far that much, which is really, really good from this this series. And look at that, it goes that far. Woo! And then you get that nice pivot. Oh, wow. So, I think as far as articulation, this figure might be the winner. He just might be, same thing for the other side. Uh, ankles go that far and goes up that much toes you got that nice his his toes look broken uh, and then it does not go down it actually just goes back and let's take some time and appreciate if you guys can see the detail even in his shoes which is pretty awesome oh gosh this is this figure you know, I think it's a pretty close, in my opinion, who would take the top figure in the series between between this one or Angel. It's very, very close as of right now. So, and I'm looking forward to getting uh, to post this guy because the articulation is awesome. And on the bright side, out of the five figures I've opened so far, 
this one has the minimal of uh, the leg bowing, the bow legged, which seems to be a a normal uh, issue with the Toy Biz uh, series. I think the positioning and the packaging has a lot to do with it, and uh, the figure sitting over time, like sitting over time uh, i just remember these figures came out in 2005 and i just opened this now in 2020 so the figures have been posed they held their post for so long that i think it just started to uh adjust the plastic just started to adjust to it so once again take a good look for the black panther figure the black and gold is nicely done the cape in its detail So that's going to be it for the review for this figure, guys. If you do have questions, uh, please comment, leave a message, or comment in the in, in the comment section below. If you like the video, if you like this review, please give me a like. If you hate it, go ahead and give me a dislike and leave me some feedback. Once again, thank you guys so much, and I do mean that. Uh, especially if you've subscribed to the channel, we just now hit 25 subscribers. And the goal as of right now is 100 subscribers. If you guys can help me do that, please go ahead and share the video uh, to new collectors or someone you might know that does not have the figure and seeking to get a review, a good look before they make the purchase. So until next time, guys, thank you again. Much love and respect. Father figure, Mac out.